It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today we're gonna be heading down to the beginner's account on Little Joe, and this is for all viewers. If you're a highly advanced player, I mean, this might you might see something helpful, and of course, if you're a beginner, this is gonna be great because. I'm pretty much just going through the beginner level, kind of, you know, giving you guys my thoughts and how you kind of get past these first few things with the lower level units. Now, of course, we left off and we had just attacked San Francisco. I actually did work on upgrading my troops a little bit. I worked on getting my fire chief right here. Let's get him completed. There we go. I just got my fire chief up to level five and now I'm going to be working on my next upgrade. So... What we have now is we have the level 5 fire chief, level 2 gunfighter, level 2 sniper, captain zeta is level 1, and pretty much the rest of my troops are level 1. So, I'm going to slowly be working on upgrading on my guys. Now, next I really wanted to work on upgrading my gunslinger. So, I'm going to work on that a little bit later on in the episode because well, that's what we're working on next. I'm going to work on getting my gunfighter up to level 5. That's what I want to do next. And then I'm going to pretty much go down the line and I want to make sure I keep all my units leveled up to the same around the same level just like that just to keep everything kind of ideal and just working well so i collected some of my stuff of course gotta go for that this is my squad right here i think it's pretty solid let's go in attack san francisco here all right sweet so i think one more attack will definitely get us past this and we'll finish this off pretty easily so let's see what we got see what we're up against here Boo -doo 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 -doo. All right. Oh, we already got some people placed. Looks like we're going to learn about the Lumberjack here. Lumberjack is actually, like I said, it's very, very good against all these drones because when drones come out, Lumberjack's just tearing them out. It's awesome. He's very good. So I'm actually just going to fill that area with Lumberjacks. And let's put in some of my level two gunslinger, gunfighters over here. Not gunslingers. Those don't exist yet. I'm going to put those guys right there. And it looks like, are we going to have another, yeah, we have another pad right over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put two snipers here. I'm going to move this pad out to this area right here. So that way a couple of these snipers will be able to see both of these pads that are sending out some zombies. So we'll be, we'll be pretty safe there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put Captain Zeta over here because, you know, it's a little close for comfort. Let's put some, let's put two of my firefighters here, level five, of course. I mean, let's definitely throw those guys out there. And then two gunfighters, and that's going to call it a day. Now, I think... Of course, it's kind of a tutorial level still. We're still learning about different troops. And we have the Lumberjack here. So, Lumberjacks there. They're going to be taking a lot of damage for my people. They're going to be tearing up all those drones. Then we have some snipers and some gunfighters in the back just there to take out all those mutant zombies and stuff like that. Over here, I have the two firefighters to take damage for me. And that way, we'll just be set right there because we're just going to have a great little health shield right there. And Captain Zeta is going to be causing some damage on those mutated zombies. So, that's going to be very good. So, right here. Let me see if I can show you guys these lumberjacks here. I can see they just tear up all the drones. That's pretty much one of their best things. Taking out those low-level mutated zombies and drones. Best purpose right there. That's what I love them for. So let's send this group early. We're not going to have anybody over there. So these snipers are going to be focused on these guys as well. I'm going to stim up this little group right here so we can take out those runners right there. Because runners will cause problems if they get too close. Because they're just going to be able to wipe them out with one little smack of their hand right there and they're very powerful they have a lot of damage to deal so gotta take out that spitter bop nailed it let's send this wave early as well is this the final wave it is it's gonna be interesting all right so since we're getting a lot of a little bit of a trouble over here i'm gonna stim up my lumberjacks because they're gonna need that extra little boost right there just so we can make it past this level snipers took out the the Colossus there for me or the many other versions of the brute whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's a brute just because we're around the early levels so we took out that brute no problem we got 482 plus the time bonus what we got 124 so that topped us off at 606 it's pretty good and that will definitely finish off at San Francisco for, yep completed San Francisco and our guys did lose a little energy it's all good so we completed the objective i got a fire chief now fire chiefs i love my fire chief i have them level 20 on my i think 22 now on my main account he's really good he's great he can take tons more damage he is a lot better than the firefighter so we finished off oh there's a finale or something there's a finale all right 
I'm down. I'm game. Let's defend it and finish off this finale at San Francisco. So really the basic things in early levels. I mean, I think you're definitely want to get your firefighter or fire chief. I think I'd wait for your fire chief. I try to upgrade that as much as possible because that's just a great source of just a health blockade sort of for you. And it's really good when you're defending your gunfighter. So defend the fireworks factory. Here we're going to be getting the flare, I guess, I'm assuming. So we're going to defend the fireworks factory with our best possible crew. So I'm actually going to put two snipers here. Move them back a little bit. Move these guys. Let's move them over and help out a little bit. I'm going to put Captain Zeta right there as well. And let's put... Hmm. No, we're not going to put any firefighters over there on that pad. On this one, however, we're going to have two firefighters. Would have been actually really good to have Captain Zeta. But here's a good thing. We're going to have a couple lower level mutated zombies. Not going to have as much as health. So... I think we should be pretty good with this setup. And of course, we have tons of extra troops to lay down just in case they do get by. So, first off, let's take out that Brute Snipers. Boom. Cost some damage there. So, we took out that Brute. Now, we just got to take out these like drones right here. And we are set. I'm not worried about them. Let's send this group early because, I mean, everything's handled over there. And we just need to get started over here. So, I'm going to stim up this crew once we get a little bit closer. So, there we go. First contact. All right, one thing I'm going to worry about, the spitter is he's uh, sitting behind there, and he's just going to be able to spit on us until we finish off these guys. So I'm going to speed this up really quick. Boom, 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 boom. Took out those drones, and moving on. Take out the – can you can you all take out that spitter for me? Thank you. All right, let's slow it back down again. Let's send this crew right there. Send them a little bit early. Now, again, like I said, this is actually a very good little group here because the Lumberjack's doing great against the lower-level – lower health units right here so they were able to take out these guys no problem sniper's gonna take it out and infector for me come on what are you doing there we go but that lumberjack does great against the drones and the fire chiefs are there just kind of help protect him a little bit and take some of the damage so we got a time bonus there got 616 trophies we cleared it we cleared the finale and we saved the fireworks store area paramedic i'm always up for a paramedic so we completed the finale and we got the flare gun flare gun's awesome they're gonna really come in handy all these skills got 25 points as well i love that all right so we can research the flare now so the flare is available to research for 500 cans i will do that and hopefully we'll have that for the next episode but anyway i think we should get one more attack in and then we'll start an upgrade and just go from there so let's see what the next thing is we're gonna have here 1200 trophies from vancouver all right and we have a borrowed unit. I'm going to borrow the sniper. I like snipers. Snipers are just one of my favorite troops. Love snipers a lot. They are just awesome. Can't say much more than that. They're just good at work. All right. Interesting little group here. It looks like we're going to have a couple brutes come in here, but mostly just a bunch of runners and stuff like that. So right here, I'm going to want to put Captain Zeta. Where am I going to put Captain Zeta? Well, first off, I'm going to put some snipers back here. They're going to help that way. They're going to help defend that area. And let's put, I'm gonna put one lumberjack and then two gunfighters. And we'll see. Oh, three. Okay, that works. <laughs> That's all good. And then Captain Zeta is going to go right over here because we're going to have a large group of people coming there. One lumberjack. And the rest are going to be fire chiefs, firefighters, because I just wanted them to take all the damage. The lumberjacks are going to do great against the drones and the runners, and then Captain Zeta is going to be back there just providing some extra cover. Over here, it's only going to be during wave two, so that's not too much to worry about. I'm just going to put some guys in here plus a paramedic. Paramedic, we haven't used too many paramedics. Now, paramedics can actually be very good if you use them correctly. They can really save your little group there. So let's start these waves, start them off, send them away. Boom. All right. Looks like we're only going to be in this one area for the beginning. Let's see if we can, yeah, sniper's getting involved. Perfect. Took out that runner. Drone's going crazy. I'm going to move these guys up all the way over here. That way we can get up close and personal. Taking them that early. I'm going to send that wave early just because I want to get this these extra points going. All right. Come on, guys. Come back. We got a wave coming over here. All right, wave two here. This is going to be something interesting to focus on. Let's just keep sending these waves, get these extra trophies here because I'm feeling pretty good about my squad right here. All right, Sniper, my bro, what are you doing? I'll start down an extra paramedic. Why not? Stim them up. Take out those runners, please. All right, let's check out this really quick just because it popped up. The Colossus. Very high health, but low damage. So he's just pretty much there to take damage for the zombies. 
He projects the horde behind him in low damage, but he will take a while to kill. So he's pretty tough. He's a tough cookie. All right, we're handling most of this pretty dang well. Send them off, and let's see how that'll be handled over there. We're still trying to take out this Colossus right here. Look at this. Good thing he's got the Paramedics just healing up that Lumberjack as fast as he can damage them. Let's stim them up because they're pretty much the only guys doing stuff. Slowly but surely, we're going to knock him out. Everything is locked down over there. This is where the action is pretty much. I mean, we took, just took down that Colossus. Protecting the hospital pretty darn well. Now he's got to take out these last couple drones. One more. Knocked him out. Perfect. Perfection. Awesome. So, guys, if you're watching this still and you're just starting out, let me know what uh, people you're using. I mean, I know this is pretty much just my group, what I'm using to defend the best possible areas. Let me get, let me know how y'all are doing, guys, and I think that's going to call it a day. Yeah, my guys are tired. They need to be recharged. I'm not going to use my coins because I'm going to save them. But guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.